Good morning, O'Neill. I hope everyone's having a great day today. We're hanging out at my house today on this Thursday, April 23rd. I hope uh, you're logging in and learning, making sure that you are um, connecting with your teacher and continuing to you know, be part of O'Neill. You know, even though I know you're sitting at home and you're probably pretty bored because it's been rainy and icky outside. You know, I really want you to stay connected. We miss you, we love you. We want you to continue to learn. So um, today we are um, continuing our Earth Week stories and we have The Living Rainforest, an animal alphabet by Paul Crater. And so we will, uh, Learn the alphabet while we're reading. All right, the living rainforest. <clears throat> okay, here we go. A for anteater. The giant anteater is toothless. It uses its long snout to locate ant nests or termite mounds. The anteater uses its powerful claws to tear open a mound and then lick up its meal with a long, sticky tongue. B, butterfly. The morpho butterfly sips the nectar of flowers through its proboscis. The brown undersides of its wings are good camouflage. In the rainforest, as it flies, the butterfly seems to appear and then disappear against the background, making it hard to catch. Chameleon, I love chameleons. The Parsons chameleon has a long sticky tongue that it uses to catch insects to eat. It changes colors if scared or to match its surroundings. Dolphin. The Amazon River dolphin has very small eyes. It uses echolocation to locate its prey swimming in the murky water. It also pokes its head in the muddy river bottom to find crabs, fish, and turtles to eat. <clears throat> e for eagle. The harpy eagle is armed with powerful feet, huge talons, and a strong beak. It swoops through the treetops, hunting a variety of animals, including monkeys, possums, sloths, and snakes. <clears throat> frog, ooh, it's so pretty. The dart poison frog's bright colors warm other animals that its skin is toxic. This tiny amphibian eats ants, termites, and other insects. <sighs> One of my favorites. G for gorilla. The mountain gorilla is the largest and one of the rarest primates. It eats a wide variety of plants, including bamboo, wild celery, roots, fruit, soft bark, and fungi. H for honey creeper. Hmm. The Hawaiian honey creeper is found only on the islands of Hawaii. Its curved bill and brush like tongue help it gather nectar from the flowers. I, iguana. When I was in high school, I had an iguana and its name was Izzy. And, um, it got pretty long, about three feet long, but then when I went to college, it died. I couldn't take it with me. So I always love iguanas. The green iguana is mainly, um, lives in trees. It also is a good swimmer. The female lays up to 70 eggs in a nest buried in the ground. <clears throat> J, jaguar. The powerful jaguar likes to swim and is a good tree climber. It hunts at night for a wide range of prey, including deer, reptiles, and aquatic animals. K 
Hey, Katie did. Do you see it? The leaf Katie did lies motionless during the day to hide from predators. It becomes active at night, feeding on leaves, shoots, and flowers. So it's nocturnal. Is it only, is at night? L, lemur. I love lemurs, they're so fun. The black and white ruffled lemur is a noisy primate. It will grunt and even roar when alarmed. Fruit, nectar, seeds, and leaves make up its diet. M, macaw. The blue and yellow macaw uses its large hooked beak for eating fruit and for climbing in the canopy. This social bird is usually found in pairs and can be seen in flocks to up to 30 birds. N, night monkey. Isn't that what the Spider-Man said he was in um, the last Spider-Man movie when he was in, in Europe? He called himself the night monkey. I didn't know there was an actually an animal called the night monkey. Let's find out more. The night monkey is nocturnal and has huge eyes that help it to see in the dark. It makes a soft hooting noise like an owl. The night monkey feeds on fruit, flowers, leaves, and insects. I'm never gonna watch that movie the same. Hmm. Oh, okapi. The okapi feeds on leaves by striping them from branches with its long prehensile tongue. This close relative of the giraffe is shy and is rarely seen. It's like a giraffe zebra mix. P. Piranha. The red bellied piranha lives in fresh water and hunts in schools. It will attack any animal splashing in the water. A piranha darts in and bites off small pieces of flesh with its sharp teeth. No, thank you. <clears throat> Q. Cutital. The um, cutital feeds mainly on fruit, but will also eat small lizards and insects. The male attracts a female by swooping down from the canopy and letting his long tail um, feathers flow through the air. Hmm, interesting. Never heard of that one before. Our rhinoceros. The shy Sumatran rhinoceros keeps itself cool and free of biting insects by rolling in mud. It feeds at night on vegetation near water. It is the smallest and the hairiest kind of rhinoceros. <clears throat> S. Sloth. Oh, my son loves sloths. The three-toed sloth is slow-moving. It spends the day hanging upside down, feeding on leaves. Greenish algae growing on its fur help to hide the sloth from predators. T for toucan. The neo-bellied toucan bill is lightweight and is used to grab fruit, insects, and eggs of other birds. Both parents care for their young in the nest made in the hollow tree. <clears throat> you, Yukari. The red Yukari is a short-tailed monkey. Its strong jaws help it eat fruit with hard outer shells that other monkeys can't eat. The Yukari lives in a large group of 20 to 30 animals. Ooh, look at its red face. Kind of creepy. V, viper. The eyelash viper will lie motionless, waiting for a small bird or mammal to pass. The viper strikes quickly, using poison from its fangs to stop its prey. W, wallaby. The black forest wallaby is a marsupial. 
It gives birth to a small baby called a joey that develops fully in its mother's pouch. It feeds at night on many kinds of plants. Ooh, X, Xenops. Hmm, another one I've never heard of before. The bill of the plain Xenops is designed to peck and probe. Oh, kind of like a woodpecker. The Xenops climb dead branches and vines looking for insects to eat. Why? Yepok. The yepok is a type of possum. This aquatic marsupial has a pouch that can be closed tightly underwater. Webbed feet help the yepok swim as it hunts for fish, frogs, and other freshwater prey. Interesting. And Z, the Zorro. Hmm. Zorro is a type of dog. Hmm. It eats rodents, small mammals, and some plants. Very little is known about this rare creature. Well, and that was us A to Z of the rainforest. Kind of interesting. Well, I hope to see more of your science uh, projects with our Flipgrid uh, to continue celebrating Earth Week. And I hope you have a very thankful Thursday.